I'm going to review an SEO tool that's on a lifetime deal right now. So you can imagine how popular it's going to be. It's an SEO tool called Serpl, and it's an insight system for tracking keywords, competitors, and a couple of other things that it can do. And I'm gonna talk about what I like and dislike about it from the deal and what it can actually do. So let's jump over to my desktop right now with no BS. Let's start by reviewing the lifetime deal that's going on right now. And it starts off at $69 for the lifetime deal. That means you pay once and use it forever. In that sense, it's obviously a great deal compared if you're paying month to month for another tool. Now, in terms of the deal, what you get for $69, I think it's pretty okay. And the single, which is $69, gets you five projects, which means those are five sites that you begin tracking. You get 250 keywords, 2,500 monthly refreshes, 10 competitors, and 250 keywords research limit. These limits are shared between the five projects, so the five sites that you're ranking. So if you have one project, well, you can use all the limits. If you use it between all the, the sites, then you share those limits. If you need more limits, jump into the next license tier, and then you go all the way up to five codes, which give you unlimited projects, but then you're limited with this. So it's not as flashy. It's like those shared hosting plans, right? Where it's like unlimited sites, but then you're limited in some other senses. So it's the same thing goes here. Now, in terms of deal, I think it's okay based on that's in a lifetime deal. And if you want to grab it, the link will be provided in the description. Now, in terms of reviewing the actual tool, I'm not impressed because basically it doesn't do anything better than what other competitors can do. So in that sense, if you have a lifetime deal for another tool that's actually working fine, then you're good to go with that one. But if you don't have one, then this might be a good option. In terms of UI, I like how it looks. I like the colors, I like the charts, and that looks really great. But like I mentioned before, in terms of features, well, it's not that great. Let me go ahead and open up this demo site to show you what you're gonna actually get. Now, what you're gonna get is obviously the SERP. So you're gonna get the score for the keywords that you added. Once you add a website, it's gonna ask you for keywords that you want to rank on or that that's important for you. So let's just say that you have a marketing agency, you're gonna add, I don't know, agency, marketing, marketing agency, marketing agency in Los Angeles, et cetera, and you wanna see how you are actually ranking in those specific keywords. So based on that, you're gonna get these scores here, which are going to help you take better decisions or improve your site to rank better on those keywords, okay? So that's the idea. And you're gonna get some basic charts here for what's gonna help you to rank. And you're gonna see, for example, the what's up today, so how you're doing today with the keywords, have they improved, have they declined, the good performance. You're gonna get some charts here for search volume for these keywords. So, so is it a keyword that's actually popular that I wanna rank for? The search volume drops, face favorite keywords, keyword cannibalization, etc. You're gonna get these charts, which like I said, they are great to have these, but it's nothing different than what a competitor has for in terms of this, okay? Now, what I can do here, so for example, I can manage widgets if I like to remove, well, enable or disable widgets that I don't need, and basically that's it for this, okay? The other thing we can do is keywords. So based on this specific site, the keywords that we have added, for example, we're gonna get a detailed information of those keywords. So for example, the comparison for these, the devices that are looking for it, today's performance, the SERP score, SERPL score, the SERP features, Google search ads, and total keywords. So here's the keyword, and here's the information. You're ranking one, and it's best. So you get the information for this, for this specific site, and based on Google results for the one that you select. For example, if it's US, well, you're searching for those. The, act, the rank history, you can view it here, and you can mark it as unfavored if you don't wanna view it here. And you're gonna get rankings for all of these. You're gonna view how you're gonna rank for those keywords, and based on that, you take your decisions. Another tool that they have is Competitor AI. Now, this is a tool that they have that's uh, unique per se, where you don't have to add your competitors manually. Like, you don't search for them. You just tell the AI to analyze your site, and based on that site, you're gonna get some competitors analysis. Now, based on my test, and I'll show you one of my sites that I've just added, which is a marketing agency that I've added, and I've selected Google Mexico, it's a Spanish site, and based on that, I've asked a competitor AI. And basically, A gave me competitors from all around the world, which are the top ranking ones. And based, if, it was, if this was using real AI, it would provide me competitors based on locally, like Mexico, Google, which I've selected for this specific site, and it's in Spanish. Not 
all of the worldwide ones. So they need to work on that, and that's something that doesn't impress me. Now, if it's a, it's a like if it's a global site and you want to grab the top competitors, then you're good to go. It, it, this feature would work great, and you just add the competitors here. Next is the keyword research, which is not working. So, for example, marketing agency, which is something. I'll just search marketing and Google Mexico because it's based on this side, which is in Mexico. I'll search for it and right now it's in maintenance and it's not working. Um, what I think it actually provides is what other provides also for keyword research, which is you're gonna how many monthly researches are they using? What is the cost pay per click approximately if you wanna pay ads for that keyword and those type of things, that's what you're gonna get. So nothing fancy about it, but again, we can't use it because it's not working. And then with reports. In reports, it's pretty basic. We can't modify them. I can just select, you know what, I want a PDF report. I want to send it to my, my email and I want to send it every day, week or month. So that's all. I can't select if I want something special, what I want in the report, what I don't want. If I want to send it via webhooks, API, if I want to, et cetera. There's, there's nothing fancy about it. You just get the report. And then there's live reports if you want to check it out. So with the shareable link, you can generate it. Widgets, keywords, overview. Here you have you do have some settings of what you want to share, and that's that's pretty good, right? That's interesting. And for settings, well, notifications and ad recipients. That's about it. Now, like I said in the beginning, if you don't have a previous tool that you have on a lifetime deal, like you're not paying month to month then I would recommend you're okay. If it works fine for you, you don't need something like this because it doesn't do anything special. Now, if you don't have one and you're paying month to month for another service, well, buying this on a lifetime deal makes sense. So you can decide if you wanna buy this or not. This is what's coming on the roadmap. These are things that they should be have implemented already. What's planned, for example, a bank link monitor that should be already available. Um, white labeling, I think that would be interesting. I'm not sure if they're gonna include that on this deal and if it's gonna be included on, for example, on three codes, five codes, like it has here. So it's gonna depend how they wanna add it. But I'll provide a link to this roadmap so you can actually view what's gonna come and you decide if you wanna grab this tool or not. Like I said, for me, it's not impressive, but if you need a tool like this on a lifetime deal, then it could be a good option. And then like I mentioned before, if you wanna grab it, I will be providing a link in the description. And right now, things you have to consider is that this just launched today as I'm making this video, and it's been a roughly, I don't know, six to seven hours, and it got 14 reviews, five-star reviews. They might be incentivized, so do consider that when you're buying. Don't focus on the, on the reviews and actually test a tool. And remember, they have a 60-day money-back guarantee in case you test it and it's not impressive for you, you can go ahead and refund it and get all the money back. Well, that's a wrap.